Hey guys, seven WWE rocks here. Happy Father's Day. Go show your father, you know, some love. If you're a father yourself, I hope you're having an awesome, awesome day. Um, just be sure, and not just today, every day, show your dad some love. Um, so for today's video, though, I'll be talking about my experience at uh, Ring of Honor State of the Art San Antonio. Um, I got back yesterday. I was so tired. I, I wanted to. I really did want to make the video yesterday, but I was just really tired, and I, I ended up not doing it. Um, but um, it was a lot of fun. It was just a regular live event. Um, obviously, I would have wanted to go to the Dallas show yesterday, um, especially since um, Punishment Martinez ended up winning the TV championship, which just blew my mind. Um, but I only went to San Antonio, and um, it was just a lot of fun. It was a live event. You know, it, it was on the network, on um, Honor Club, and I saw a lot of my followers um, on Twitter were watching it, so I was really happy about that. But it uh, wasn't TV, it wasn't pay-per-view, um, just fun tag matches to, just to get ready for Best in the World, pretty much. Um, I think there was only two single matches announced for the show. I think there ended up being three, though, with Silas Young and Kurt Stallion. Um, but um, a good show. And um, just I'll start from the beginning. Basically, my hotel was like 10 feet away from the venue. Um, this was an actual theater. This was the Aztec Theater. Um, so very different from any Ring of Honor show I've ever been to. Um, when NXT comes to town, that's where they usually go. Um, so... Um, it, it, the, the theater had some positives and some negatives, and I'll, I'll get into that, but um, basically, the sh doors open at 5.30, and Ring of Honor, me and Greets, you want to get there early. I did the bold choice of getting there at 5.30, um, exactly when the doors opened. I mean, if, if you're an you know, independent fan, you know about meet and greets, you know to get there super early. Um, I'm rolling the dice on there. I knew that this is a, a risk. I, am, I, I don't know if I'm willing to take, but I'm going to have to do it. Um, so I ended up getting there at 5.30, huge line. They were saying $15 can get you to the front of the line. But I was like, eh, $15 if it's per person. My mom was with, with me, $30. I'm cheap, let's be honest. Um, I was like, no, we'll wait it out. And I was I was really regretting it. And I was like, this is going to suck. But the line moved so quick. At like 5.40, we were in, in the building. And um, the meet and greet line was so much easier than last time. Last time when I went, when you met a wrestler, you had to get back into somebody else's line. Like if, if you met Cody Rhodes and wanted to get in the Young Bucks line, you know, you had to go all the way to the back. This line, you could, it was a one big line, but you met someone. If you were meeting multiple multiple people, you met the person, you got back right in line, met the next person, table by table. I loved it. So such a big fan of that. I, I That's what I want to see. Um, the theater was freaking hot. It was super hot. Um, but... The first person I met was none other than Shane, the Hurricane Helms, and um, I was really happy about this because it was his debut. I was seeing, you know, a wrestler. Um, sure, he's a living, you know, a legend, a veteran, not a new up-and-comer, obviously, but um, he's making his Ring of Honor debut, so I was really, really pumped for this, and I was excited. He was in full costume. I didn't think he was going to be, honestly, but full get-up, mask and all, um, and uh, I went up to him shook his hand. Um, I said I was really happy for him that he's making his debut. I'm, I'm happy that he's here. And he was like, oh, thanks, buddy. I appreciate that. Um, and then he asked me where I was from. And then he was like, oh, wait. When he looked at the 8x10s, he was like, uh-oh. And he like looked around and around. And I'm like, what are we doing? So I'm looking around. I have no idea what's happening. But the hurricane's looking. So I'm looking. I don't know if he was looking for some crime, uh, you know, to fight some crime. I have no idea. Uh, but then finally, he was like, oh, this guy forgot his 8x10. And I realized um, he had signed an 8x10 for somebody. And the person had picked it up. So I was like, oh. So we're just looking for it. And then he was just like, ah, oh, whatever. So we went back to signing it. And I thanked him for it. We took the picture. He let me hold the belt. Go see it on Twitter. I think it's an awesome picture. Um, not to be selfish or anything, but I, I really like the picture. I really like how it came out. I got to hold his Hurricane Championship. Um, and the 8x10 is uh, really good. I, I'm really happy with it that Ring of Honor was able to make this. It, is, it says, of course, to Daniel and then the Hurricane. Um, so yeah, I was really, really happy with this. I think it came out really nice. Sorry, I just want to make sure. Because sometimes when I upload the video to YouTube, the camera angle looks a little different. I don't know why. It kind of cuts off at the bottom. Um, but yeah, there it is. To Daniel, the hurricane. And, um, he was cool. I mean, not like super, you know, nice and, uh, and everything. But he was, he was, he was, you know, really cool. He said, thanks for coming. And he said to my mom, thanks for bringing me. Um, I just want to say, I'm 21. I can get there on my own. Everyone thinks I'm like 15, which I look at, obviously. But when we were waiting in line, um, this woman that worked there was passing out wristbands. She did one to my mom and didn't do one to me. So I was like, oh, what is that? And I look and it's for beer. And I'm like, hey, I'm 21. Am I going to drink? No, I'm straight edge. But, you know, it's it's the thought that counts. Give me that wristband. I should tweet Ring of Honor. I could have a beer. 
I, it doesn't matter. I wasn't going to drink at all. Um, but, yeah, so I was like, dang you. And then, so we get back in line, and uh, this lady, is this worker, comes by, and she's like, who's all meeting the young, she said something weird. She was like the young buds or or bugs or something. And I was like, man, she works here. She probably does not want to be here because, you know, non-wrestling fans, if they have to do something at a wrestling show, they're not going to be happy. Um, my mom, for example. Um, but I was like, man, this person doesn't work here. But got in line for Young Bucks, or we were already in line. You know, they had a crazy amount of people. Basically, the whole line was just to meet the Young Bucks, and you got to make a pit stop every once in a while if you wanted to meet the Hurricane or or uh, Tennille Dashwood or, you know, Colt Cabana or something. Um, but went up to the Young Bucks, and right before, I, you know, right, I'm, I'm not nervous at all when I'm in line, but when I'm the next person, I start getting really nervous. And it was really hot in the theater. Um, so my face was getting red, and I'm thinking, Daniel, pull it together, man. You've been here before. This is your fourth time in the Young Bucks. Pull it together. But, you know, if you know me, they're my freaking heroes. I love them. Um, and so I went up to them, and I was nervous. I was like, my face was all red. I was more nervous than was, my face was red, and I didn't want them to think like I was going to faint or something. Um, but I went up. I shook Nick Hands first, um, and he was like, hey, what's up, buddy? Good to see you. Um, he asked me what my name was, I shook Matt's, uh, hand, and he asked me, um, the shirt I was wearing, I was wearing the Bullet Club with the blood on it, uh, which AJ Styles gave me, and he said, did AJ Styles give you that shirt, and I said, oh yeah, because he asked me that last time, when I met Matt Jackson and Nick last time, he asked me that, um, so I was like, oh yeah, he gave it to me, and, um, then Nick was signing it, or, I had given him, they had, he was already starting to sign ROH's um, 8x10s, but I had one I wanted to sign, so I was like, oh, sorry, I should have said something, can you just sign this one, you don't have to sign anything else, and he was like, no, buddy, we'll sign anything you want, so he was like, we're gonna add, we're gonna throw in this extra 8x10, so they always do that, I always say they don't have to, but they always do it, they're always awesome, and so we were, he was signing the picture, and I said, congratulations on winning the heavyweight tag championships, and he was like, oh, thanks so much. Um, were you able to watch it? And I said, no, but I'm going to wait for it to be on AXS TV. And then he said um, they had just wrapped up doing the Bullet Club is Fine marathon. And I was like, oh, awesome. So Matt was talking to Marty real quick, and they were laughing. And he comes back, and he's like, uh, oh, Marty's saying he's on steroids or something. He's looking so buff and stuff. And so when that happened, like, Nick laughed. And then Cody Rose comes right next to me. And he's like, what are we, got? What are we talking about, gentlemen? Somebody on steroids? And so we say, oh, Marty's on steroids. And Cody, like, taps me on the shoulder. He's like, he's looking buff, man. He, he probably is. And he's like, you know who else is on that on steroids? It's got to be Christopher Daniels. The man's 47 years old, does the best moonsault ever, has to be on steroids. And then Marty comes in. He starts talking to me right at my face. He's heated about it. He goes, there is no way this 47-year-old man can pull off the best moonsault ever. It's physically impossible. He's on steroids. He's taking the juice. And they're, like, screaming. You know, he's, like, yelling at me, like, really getting me in the conversation stuff. And they were like, all putting their hands on my shoulders and stuff, and Nick was putting his hands on my shoulders, and um, it just felt so cool. I know I tweeted about this, saying it was the one of the best experiences of my life, and it definitely was, because um, I told this story to my sister and brother-in-law, and they, like, it, it, when I say it out loud, it's like, I guess you had to be there because it, it doesn't sound that big of a moment, um, but it just felt so cool, and um, I don't want to be, like, cliche and, and corny about it, but, like, it felt like like I was part of the group, and they were keeping me in the conversation, and it felt like exactly where I want to be. Like, I love going to wrestling shows. I love talking to fans. If you know me, I've talked on the channel before about, um, like, socially with groups and such. I'm just not the best person. I just don't fit into many groups, and um, this really felt like I was part of the group, and it was it was awesome. I, I, I loved it so much. It was so cool that they were you know, putting their hands on my shoulders and, like, really keeping me in the conversation, everybody looking in my eyes and stuff. I got to shake all their hands and stuff, so that was cool. And um, Nick was, like, Nick taps me on the shoulder, and he's like, look at Bernard, you know, Bernard the Bear. Bernard the Bear was there with Cody Rhodes, and Bernard is fully, has a bottle of water and fully just squeezing it so it's shooting out into the mouth hole so he can get water because I bet that person in that mascot, in the outfit, was so freaking hot. But he's just full on shooting in his face, and it was really funny. So we were all laughing about that. And then we took the picture, and um, oh, I'll show you the eight by ten. So this is the one Ring of Honor, of course, provides. Just Nick Jackson and Matt Jackson, the Young Bucks. And then Matt asked me, he was like, "What's your Twitter handler?" And I felt really embarrassed to say it because it's such a stupid name. But I was like, "Oh, it's Seven WWE Rocks for my YouTube from from my YouTube channel." And he was like, "Oh yeah, I know you. I, I've seen your tweets all the time before." So that blew me away. I never would have expected that he would remember me or, or like see my Twitter and know that that's the same person that's me. 
and um, that was awesome. I couldn't believe that. So, and I printed this out. This is what they put on Twitter when they won the IWGP titles. So I printed that out and um, got them to sign it. And I'm very, very happy to get it signed, and I'll uh, you know put it in the autograph album. I can't wait. So that was really cool. And uh, we took the picture, and they were so cool after. They were like, you know, thank you so much for coming, and thank you for always supporting, and they hope I enjoy the show, and they're patting me on the back and stuff. So Young Bucks are always just better. Always, every every time I meet them, they just get better and better and nicer and nicer. They don't rush you. They actually have a conversation with you. They'll listen to what you have to say. Um, they'll sign, you know, all the stuff. And um, it was awesome. I love the Young Bucks, as you know. So it was a great experience meeting them. The wrestling was great. Um... Um, if you saw it on Honor Club, uh, people seemed to really enjoy the show, which I was really happy about. Since I was in the theater, I was in the very, very back. And I, the one thing I hated about the setup was around the ring, on all on three sides, no fans were around. And so on the fourth, the camera side um, was where people were lined up. So it was pretty much the ring and then one row all the way back. Like nobody on the sides or around. And I... I that's what I love about Ring of Honor, though. It feels so intimate and special. This didn't f feel like that. It felt kind of kind of strange, and um, I'm happy that they're doing this huge arena, but it just felt weird. And um, but I was in the far back, and there was like nobody around me because um, just the balcony seats didn't do as well. I guess nobody wanted to do balcony seats, so I had like my own section. Me and my mom. It was really cool because like I just I didn't have to worry about like standing up and getting in someone's way or somebody blocking my view and stuff. Like it was really cool. So that part was great, but I. I wish it was more like, you know, so close to the action. I was super far away. I was up in the balcony, but I, I enjoyed it. The main event was great. Um, the Briscoes didn't, ended up not making their flight, so they were taken out of the main event, which I was really, really sad about. Uh, but Taven and Vinny from K the Kingdom replaced them, so they did double duty. They did two matches in one night, and um, they were great. Um, I think they fit in really well. The main event was awesome. Um, super kick party, Marty breaking people's fingers, Hangman Page doing, um, you know, his finisher, doing the, the front flip off the, um, apron. I mean, it was really, really fun. So I love Ring of Honor. I always love going there. And, um, I, on, it was a great show and I, I can't wait for them to come back. On my way back, I ended up getting two wrestling shirts and they're in the dryer right now. So in tomorrow's video, I'll show you those. I was really, really happy. I got them at Hot Topic and I was, I was really psyched to get these two shirts. So, um, real quick, I'll just show you again. There's a Hurricane 8x10 signed by him. Um, uh, Nick and Matt Jackson, of course. They're the Ring of Honor 8x10. And there's, of course, the IWGP heavyweight titles they're holding. Um, so, yeah. Thank you so much for everyone, anybody that tweeted me and said, like, enjoy the show or I'm happy for you and stuff. Um, I really do appreciate that. Thank you for liking my photos and commenting on them. That's really cool of you guys. So, Sorry this video is so long, but it was a really fun experience, and it was just a simple live event. It was just something to have fun, nothing to take seriously or, um, you know, freak out about, but um, it was a lot of fun. So I love going to Ring of Honor. Um, it's always a great, great time. I've never been disappointed when I've been very disappointed at WWE shows, so Ring of Honor, I've never been disappointed at all. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you enjoy Money in the Bank tonight if you are watching, and um, as always, have a great day.